Thailand and Lengadu uh, from Vietnam. Uh, I'm very uh, pleased uh, to be here today to uh, talk about the uh, impact, potential impact of the hydropower uh, dam development plan on the Metro Mexican River. Uh, actually, I'm not talking about the dam construction in Vietnam because in Vietnam it's setting it's dam everywhere. You know, we have up to 1,000 dams, you know, everywhere, so I think it's uh, too bad. Uh, and uh, take a lot of uh, the impact from that. Um, I'm here, I'm here to express my concern about the, the plan of uh, dam development on the main uh, mainstream of the Mekong River. Uh, the earlier, where the basin it, uh, includes uh, Jinnan, uh, China, uh, Myanmar, uh, Laos, uh, Thailand, Vietnam, and Cambodia, a chief country. Uh, actually, uh, in the Mekong River, 5,000 uh, uh, kilometers uh, long river, what upstream uh, in the part of China, they have already planned to build uh, eight dam. Among them, three dam has been operating, and three other five dam is uh, uh, is being uh, being constructed or being uh, to plan to 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 construct. For the for those dam on the upper steep China, we cannot do anything because China is a big country and the uh, big economy is good, so they can do whatever they want. The government of the lower uh, lower Asian uh, country and the civil society cannot do anything because they refuse to be a member of the Mekong uh, River Commission. They just play as an uh, observer. But as a as an uh, uh, emerging uh, developing country, they are the big consumer of the energy and big consumer of the resources, natural resources in the world. So we are as a neighborhood. We are. Uh, uh, confronting a very strong pressure from China in terms of you know uh, hydropower development and uh, uh, and uh, uh, extraction of resources. I can give you an example that in my country we have around 1,000 hydropower projects has been planned and around 200 uh, hydropower has been in operation or being constructed. And 70% of that hydropower plant it is contracted or uh, equipment provided by China. So you can see we have a strong motivation from China for the energy sector development in, 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 in Vietnam or in the Mekong region. The threat of, so 11 dam in the, in the lower basin uh, Mekong region which ten, uh, which nine dam is being planned, uh, expected to be to uh, to be built on in Laos, and two dam in Cambodia. Laos, as a um, landlocked country, which uh, you know motivated by other country outside, uh, particularly the China, because China now is a big investor in in Laos and Cambodia. They want to they want to to, to make Laos to become what they call factory of Asia. Which is expected that when all the dam being built on the mainstream uh, river of Mekong, Laos can 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 get a revenue equivalent to 3.5 billion dollars per year, but this is unreal. So, if this if this dam to be built, it would move, it would stress and make the Mekong River to become a dam river. The Mekong River now is very important, not only for the each country, but for the whole region and for the world. Let's take this example. From 70 to 90 percent of nutrition of the local people living in Laos, Cambodia, and Vietnam come from the fish, especially Cambodia. 2.5 billion revenue uh, dollar per year of, the, of, of Cambodia come from fish, particularly from Tonle Sap Great Lakes. And in Vietnam, around 1.5 billion from Nitro feet from Mekong River. And for example, another, another example, the Mekong Delta in Vietnam, we now, is, every year, we export up to 15 million tons of rice to 40 countries. So if this dam, be, be, if 11 dam to be built on, on in, in, in the river, the river is not now to be free to flow freely. It will become 11 reservoirs. So the river will get away. 
in last three years we have um but but for for uh, but related to speak the in, in in this development china really want to have that on the Gong river lao really want to have that thailand the thailand government they want to have that but thailand civil society they again that for the Cambodia, they are very reluctant because they have benefit from that if, okay, if the dam view up on the upstream in Lao, the Moria can view two other dams on the uh, downstream. But for Vietnam, we are against that because as a downstream country, we will receive all if cumulative, uh, cumulative impact from that uh, uh, development. So the, I think the, the civil society in, in, in the region, in Thailand, Lao, Cambodia, and Vietnam, we have in last year, we have organized a campaign called Save the Mekong. And we try to talk with Prime Minister of Thailand. We meet him. We talk him to incentive to stop uh, to to that construction. In Lao, no space for civil society. Very silent. All talking about the enemy Lao always very good thing. If you talk about the bad thing, you can be in there in prison. In Cambodia, is uh, the civil society we have some space to talk about that. But the Hun Sen government. They really again. He said that the environment to need to grow. Then it's not too much equal to the environment and society. So we still support that. In Vietnam, we are <coughs> facing some difficulty. Sometimes we get caught. Sometimes government said no. And maybe uh, the same. Because the government said that the Vietnam government we don't want to have land. <coughs> But the government said that, but they don't want to break down the relation with Laos. Because they said that in Indochina, Vietnam, Laos, Cambodia, we have a traditional relation. <coughs> and the, the stability uh, uh, and, and this region, it has been a long time where there is stability, but in last uh, 30 years. And now, in this uh, stability and so, uh, solidarity is a challenge by this development. Uh, when we do the advocacy work, I think that we try to raise the awareness of the people, the civil society, but it's not enough. Because the normal people, the public, you cannot change anything. Even we have MRC, the Mekong River Commission, but it's an um, intergovernmental institution, and working as a consultancy firm. They do not have a right to insist government to stop or to postpone them. So, even in, in Vietnam, we have space. We work in the National Assembly, we work in the journalists, we work in the scientists. We promote the awareness in the country, in the region. But it's difficult. But we discovered that. Yes, we have to <coughs> to build government to concise decision of that construction. But behind the government, the investor and the builder is more important. And especially the bank. The workmen, KDB, the commercial man, they are the key stakeholders who motivated the dam to be built on the Mekong River. Remember that 70% of the dam investment in our area it comes from the loan from the bank. Possible Lao Lama, they don't have much money. So, so, that, uh, so that's why you know we try to, to tackle, try to fight with the bank, to fight with the investor. But it's very difficult. Not only difficult from ourselves, but difficult from the barrier, political barrier, from government. So we, uh, so, uh, and now in, um, in uh, among eleven dam uh, to be built, the first dam, Siabori, has been uh, in processing. Even we got uh, some government, the Singapore government, the Cambodia government, the Thai government, they agree to postpone. But Lao and Thai investors, they are still, you know, let's do it in the secret. So we now very worried about that. And we hope that we want to be here to to let the, 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 the people, uh, the, let the, uh, the national government committee and media know about that. And hope it will help us to push up that we can help to uh, stop the dam of the Mekong and let the river to be alive and free to flow. Thank you very much.